What's up, family? Okay, so Sheriff David Coon Clark. Y'all know him. The black guy that want to be white so bad that he'd get on the cone and sell some ass. Yeah, him. The one that's always licking up Donald Trump's booty hole. Yeah, him. The one that's always going on Fox News talking down on the black community. Yeah, him. Where well, it seems that Inmates are turning up dead in the jail that he runs. Yeah, many inmates, several inmates has died under suspicious circumstances. And he have no idea of what's going on. But this is under his watch. It goes like this, fam. Just a few hours into Terrell Thomas's eight day in solitary confinement at the Milwaukee County Jail last year, Correction officers found the 38-year-old man on the ground and not moving. He was dead. Thomas has spent his final days begging for water, inmates later told the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, because jail staff had shut off the flow to pipes in his cell as punishment for bad behavior. The cause of death was ultimately ruled profound dehydration, and the medical examiner classified it a homicide, meaning death at the hands of others. An announcement that drew a torrent of rage from Sheriff David Clark, a tough-talking and loyal President Trump surrogate. Still, nearly a year later, no criminal charges have been filed in Thomas's death. But an inquest this week by prosecutors could shed more light on the circumstances of the case, whether someone should be held responsible, and if so, who and for what. The first major court revelation came Monday, when prosecutors told the jury that Thomas had endured seven days without any liquid, lost 35 pounds, and grown weak and quiet before he died inside of his cell last year, reported the Journal Sentinel. When Thomas's family filed the lawsuit last month, the sheriff did not comment to the Associated Press about the lawsuit, but he did note Thomas's criminal background, which included a drug charge. I have nearly 1,000 inmates. I don't know all of their names, but is this the same guy who was in custody for shooting up the Port of Tawatomi Casino, causing one man to be hit by gunfire while in possession of a firearm by a career convicted felon? Clark told the Associated Press. The media never reports that in stories about him. If that is him, then at least I know who you're talking about. Thomas was one of four people to die at the Milwaukee County Jail during a six month period in 2016, according to Fox 26. In December, the US Department of Justice said it would consider investigating the deaths after a Congresswoman requested it. State lawmakers and an activist organization called on Clark to resign over the deaths. So this fucking slave He, he got a man that dies under his watch. Black man at that. Dies under his watch and under suspicious circumstances is a huge case. This is a big case. Man died of dehydration where they purposely denied him water. And he don't know the name of the guy. This is the same guy that has taken the Fox News on several occasions, especially during the Ferguson riots and the protesting that was going on in various cities after cops uh, gunned down innocent black people. This is the same guy who says, well, yeah, they're protesting about this guy uh, getting killed and this guy, that guy getting killed, but they can't name any any cops who's gotten killed. They can't name the victims. They can't name anybody. But this guy, this is somebody that's in his jail, under his watch, who died, who was murdered. Damn suspicious circumstances. This man was murdered, all right? They, per they, they their job, part of their job is to 
uh, provide meals and food uh, and, 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 and drinks for inmates while they're in their custody. And these are, th this is not coming out of their pocket. This is taxpayer money, okay? That's part of their job. And they didn't do their job. So, you know, somebody should be able to, somebody should pay for that. They purposely cut the man water off. They, they killed the man. Once again, law enforcement is playing judge, jury, and executioner. You don't even make it to see the judge, to talk to the judge. You don't get to, you don't get to trial, to go to trial. Uh, you don't get to even get a sentence. They, you, you get accosted by the police and you end up in their custody and you can end up dead. There's no guarantee that if they arrest you for anything, it could be a traffic violation. There's no guarantee that you're going to come home. And it don't matter what your ethnicity is. You may not come home. This guy is one of the most disgusting human beings, most vile. He's a fucking disgrace to the human race. Damn, just the black community. He's a disgrace to the human race. Let me tell you something, man. If we as a society want to execute prisoners before they can have uh, justice, a, a, due, a due process, we want to execute prisoners without due process, then what makes us any difference from the third world countries that we fear? What makes us any different? We're getting closer and closer to these countries. In fact, we're, if we're not already there. This is what I want to know. And they say, when you say make America great again, again, well, first of all, let's get this straight. America may have been great for some people, but if you are a descent, descendant of slaves, if you've ever been discriminated against in this country, profiled in this country, you know America has never been great. America has been a great capitalistic society. Yes, I'll give America that. But America's moral compass has always been off. I mean, America was ill-gotten. I know everybody want to pretend that everything's all beautiful and stuff, but America was ill-gotten. I mean, from the whole idea of discovery, you know, America it, it has been... This country has been criminalized. So let's get that straight. From the building, from the stealing of the land to, 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 to building everything that you see in America, from building America's foundation uh, and to even maintain it. It's all ill-gotten games. <laughs> it's all ill-gotten. So let's get that straight. You want to make America great, you... You know, I, I think Donald Trump gets it, though. I think he really gets it because in order to be in Donald Trump's cabinet, you know, he surrounds himself with, you know, a bunch of incompetent people and just scum of the earth. And, you know, Donald Trump wants to be a Hitler so bad. He want to be a little baby Hitler so bad that he's actually following Hitler's uh, public speeches. He's taking a script out of Hitler's public speeches and you know what where, where Hitler would rile people up and get people to be opposed this group opposed this group this group opposed this group this group are mad at this group this group mad at this group get everybody fighting amongst themselves and then at this while at the same time he's spewing out this propaganda and this rhetoric where he's just going I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna build a wall I'm gonna get rid of these people we need to kick them out and Break them, not break them off and, and destroy them. And, you know, they need to be arrested and this and that. And that's how it happens. That is exactly how Hitler came to power. That's what y'all don't understand. That's exactly how he came to power. Y'all want to repeat that? If this dude, Sheriff Clark, if this dude can't even remember the name of of a person who recently died under his watch and it's a major case and he don't even know the person's name 
is there really somebody that you want to have in charge? I mean, really? This guy is a disgrace. This country is slowly becoming that third world country that we fear. The cause of death was clearly murder. All right? The cause of death was clearly murder. You got another power tripping police department self-aggrandizing corrupt institution. Another one. That's all it is. Let's, let's call it exactly what it is. This, this GOP version of the law, law and order with David Clark who is consumed who is consumed by the idea of being accepted and with, uh, by white approval. He's consumed with being accepted. Totally consumed. How ironic is it to have a black man who wants to lock up infidels, a black man who uh, constantly talks down on the black community, uh, you know, a black man who wants to punish black people uh, severely uh, more than anybody. You know, we had these type of people running around during slavery. Same kind of people during slavery. Now, because he he got a little position, he put on a little old suit. By the way, he, he looked like a damn a, a, a old, a old grown-ass Boy Scout with all those damn pins and stuff. He want to be a general so bad. He want to. He got. It's like he got this fantasy of being in the army or something. All these damn pin pendants everywhere, just everywhere. A pin every damn where. Like, oh, here you, hey, you get a pin. You get a pin. You get a pin. But this dude is consumed. He's on a power trip, and that's nothing more dangerous than a black man with a badge on, who's. You know, ought to show his bosses that he can handle his own kind. It's nothing. It's nothing worse than that. This is a classic case of giving a nigga rope and he want to be a cowboy. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Damn. Order, Texas.